I'll never forget years ago, a large survey I did with men and women. And I asked them, the men, at least about 300 men, I said to them, what is the color that you love to see women wearing most? They said red. And then I asked over 400 women, I said to them, what is the color that you love to wear most? The color that makes you feel confident and beautiful and sexy. Guess what they said? Red. Guess what's not in your closet? Red. I'm on a mission to paint the world red. I believe it is a bold, beautiful, biblical color. And whether you've been raised to believe it's not cool to wear red or it's a trashy color or it's you, you want to be all that, you want to be the shizness, I blow out the water. All of those myths about the color red. Red is a biblical color. It's a beautiful color. It communicates confidence. And you can start small with nails or red lips, or you can get up, dress up, and be that beautiful, bold light on a hill with a gorgeous red wrap dress that I will show you how to wear. But for now, what I want you just to open your mind to is that red is a beautiful color that is designed for every woman to wear, and it communicates confidence. And confidence, my friend, is magnetic. If red is missing from your wardrobe, you want to ask yourself why. What is it that you've been taught about red, directly or indirectly, that has it missing from your wardrobe? So you want to go to, are there any self-limiting beliefs that I have in my mind about the color red? Maybe you were taught religiously that it is uh, for harlots and it's a prostitute color and it's a trashy color. Trust me, I have been on the receiving end of that training. It's religious. It's bound up. I'm a woman of a deep and passionate faith, but I don't buy that BS. It's not in my uh, in my Bible. In fact, scarlet is a beautiful, bold, biblical color. I go straight to the source of truth when it comes to style and beauty and body and color. Maybe you were taught that it is too attention-seeking and that you're going to come across as arrogant and and full of yourself, which also, by the way, is nonsense. I teach my clients how to go from feeling like the center of attention to actually being the center of influence. That is a powerful shift that happens. When you wear, for, for example, a little dash of red lipstick and you're going to the grocery store, you've got your little white t-shirt on, maybe you've got your jeans because you're a jeans and t-shirt girl, some cute white tennis shoes and a dash of bold lipstick and your hair's in a cute ponytail or you've done your hair and makeup lightly and nicely, watch how you are treated. Watch how people notice you. Red is eye-catching, it's conversation starting and it's relationship building. There is power in red. Why is it so eye-catching? Well, think about it. I could have a regular no lips, no lipstick, no nothing and smile. Oh, I can smile in red. With and without, the red is very powerful. Red is striking. It catches the eye. And that's why I call it dress to connect. Because when you catch someone's eye, you catch the opportunity to connect and to edify. And in this world, my friend, you know, especially women on women, we can do a much better job of, of getting up, dressing up and edifying one another, not being competitive or, or envious of one another, but actually by seeing another woman who looks beautiful and she's wearing something and you look for an opportunity to edify, you find that opportunity because you're wearing red. She's noticed you, you catch your eye, you smile and you go, you have to tell me where you got those shoes. Please tell me they're local and this season because they are gorgeous. There's always something beautiful and positive to say to another woman. If you are nervous or a little bit unsure about where to start and a red dress is too much, will you start small? You can start with red lipstick. You can start with red nails. Maybe you've got a favorite dress, a little black dress, or you've got a, a, a blouse and jeans that you always wear a black belt with. Start with a little thin belt, a little thin red belt. Goes a long way. It's eye-catching. It's different. It's the little things in your personal style that will set you apart and and make a statement that you are a woman of substance, a woman of style. I have a story about myself and many of my clients actually called Red to Wear. Years ago when I uh, met my, in fact before I met my husband, he noticed me on a balcony of a bevy of beauties. I was in corporate and we were all suited and booted, mostly in, 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 mostly in navies and blacks and greys, but I was the only woman apparently who had under my suit, I had a red blouse and I was wearing red lipstick. And he said of everybody, he I caught his eye first and then he decided target acquired. He literally decided target acquired because he was looking to do life with a woman who was bold and ambitious and adventurous and red communicates all of that. A confident woman who wanted to travel the world. Yes, I did. I was up for all of that. And so on that day, I call it red to wet. I only met him a couple of weeks later. He introduced himself to me when he saw me again at a mutual event. And years later, we're celebrating our 21st anniversary this year. Years later, he told me, you know how I noticed you when I started doing what I was doing and I was talking about red? He said it was actually red 
that caught my eye that day where you're on that balcony. I remember exactly the day he was talking about. And I've got clients all over the world who have learned how to wear red, the right shade of red for them, for their skin, for their bodies, for their age, for their environment. And it's caught the eye of men who love women in red. Not cocky, arrogant, I'm the shizness kind of woman. Beautiful, humble, approachable, confident, successful, relatable woman that they want to do life with. That is the power of red. When I say that red communicates confidence, you need to make sure that you know what self-confidence is. Confidence is rooted in the Latin word fidere, which means trust. So self-confidence means self-trust. How much do you trust yourself to go out there and go on that date or to go out there and have that meeting or to get up, dress up and to homeschool your kids? That's what self-confidence means. I've got homeschooling moms who started putting their hair in a high ponytail, a little bit of mascara on and red lipstick. And they've said to me, Linda, all I did was put on mascara and a bit of red lipstick and my kids are giving you more attention. They're giving you more respect. They're listening to me more. They're doing their assignments without any complaints. Since I've been wearing red lipstick, since I put on a red t-shirt, since I put on a cute summer red dress, that's what, that's what happens in the home. To communicate confidence is a good thing. Confidence is not arrogance. Arrogance is a condition of the heart. Confidence is built. And one of the things that builds confidence is personal style and the color red and preparation and taking action and our identity obviously is a huge part of our self-confidence. Our self-esteem is our own personal evaluation of our own self-worth. That's self-esteem. I believe that's a gift that is given to us, our identity. Self-confidence is built upon that and self-confidence is built. It's not given. It's not this natural thing that we can summons and just demand on the spot. No, confidence is built because it's trust in yourself. Self-esteem is trust in your creator. Self-confidence is trust in yourself. And when you communicate without saying a word, by wearing red and by doing your hair and makeup nicely and by wearing, it can be, like I said, a simple t-shirt and jeans outfit at the grocery store or at, at the airport with a cute little leather jacket, whatever it is. But when you communicate confidence, confidence is magnetic and you attract people who are drawn to confidence, who are looking for women who are confident to do business with, to do life with. We're going to add, of course, though, that you can wear as much red as you want to wear all day long unless you connect with the woman in the mirror, unless you really start with the heart. Red is not going to carry you anywhere. You need to make the decision, my friend, that today is the day that you fall in love with the woman in the mirror, that you stop criticizing her and that you get alongside her and that you start encouraging her and thanking her and supporting and uplifting and complimenting her. Beauty is an inside job and it starts with your heart and it must reflect on the outside. And sometimes if you don't even know how to do that and you feel like, oh my gosh, I've, I've been raised on criticism, where do I even start? Wear some red. See how it makes you feel. Start with a little nail polish. Start with a little clutch, maybe some flat little blingy red sandals. Start with something that's going to be different but doable for you. And if you already are bold and beautiful and getting out there and dressing strikingly, take it up a notch. Try something different. That which you think you're good at, you will never master, said my coach to me 10 years ago. So always be trying something different. Broaden your horizons. Take off the blinkers and make, make sure that you are learning from those in the same field as you, who are better than you, stronger than you, faster than you. It is good to surround yourself with people who are better than you. Do not be the big fish in a small pond. You want to be the slowest, teeniest little fish because that means that you are surrounded by the strong ones. And that's going to give you momentum and that's going to help you rise up because your environment is everything. You are influenced by those around you. Let me end off here. Let me show you how you can do, you can wear lovely jewelry and you can wear something simple like my white silk blouse I have on right now with a dash of bold red lipstick. Or maybe you are attending a really important online meeting and you want to stand out. It is smart to stand out. And red communicates confidence because confidence attracts attention and attracts people and opportunities your way. You've worked hard to be where you are and you want to get to where you're going. So you want to attract the people and the opportunities that will get you there. It is so easy to stand out in a crowd online these days. Most people see a sea of black and gray. To wear a simple red blazer with a nice silk cami and a little pair of earrings and some noticeable but kind of understated jewelry, you're going to be noticed. So you're reflecting on the outside, that which is on the inside, you might get an opportunity to share your story or somebody might say to you, Linda, maybe you can give us an example or do you want to give part of your whatever it is because that has happened to me a lot in the past because I'm what I'm wearing. I'm 
called on to do something or to give my input when I'm hosting my meetings and I see someone standing out, looking strong and confident and smiling, I'm going to call on them. This, by the way, is also how my clients nail their Zoom interviews. Monique landed a job on the spot on her Zoom interview where they even decided to cancel the next two interviews online based on how she was dressed and how she was using color and posture and nonverbal to communicate confidence and competence. Red communicates confidence and everybody loves a confident person. And red, of course, is for love. You should be using red to communicate that you want to love and be loved with your man or your husband or whoever that is. You get to decide what sexy is. You don't have to have somebody else telling you that is too much cleavage. I will decide with my husband what I am comfortable with in terms of showing skin and cleavage. And I love this top. It shows what I call some of my best bits. And my husband happens to love my boobs and there is nothing flashy going on here. It's a little suggestive. It's a little flirtatious. It's a little bit sexy. Christian women, by the way, are allowed to be sexy. I'm going to say it again. Christian women are allowed to be sexy. You need to dress today for the job you want tomorrow. You need to dress today for the man that you want. Red is a beautiful, feminine, sexy color. If you're out there with your girlfriends and you're having a drink or dinner, and guess who he's going to notice? He's going to notice the woman in red. So as I'm wrapping up this video, I'm going to encourage you to bring more red into your wardrobe, whether it's through nails or lips or cuts or heels or flats or a gorgeous red wrap dress or a silk blouse with your favorite bootleg jeans and heels. Red is a powerful, beautiful, bold, confident color. Red, enough said. Mm -hmm.